For today's photosynthesis activity, there are three simple steps. Number one, color. Number two, cut. And number three, we are going to glue these pieces into our notebook so that they represent a model of photosynthesis. So at this time, I would recommend that you pause the video and take some time to color following the directions of which colors to use. Feel free to use color pencil or crayon or marker. Just be careful when you color with the darker shades that you don't color out words because they are very important. Alright, now that you have finished coloring the photosynthesis activity page, you are going to now go ahead and cut along the lines to cut out the leaf as well as the ingredients and the products of photosynthesis. So I'll meet you back here once you've finished cutting out your pieces. Now that you have finished cutting out the pieces in our photosynthesis activity page, it's time to build our model. This is a model we are making together today. Start off by gluing the leaf that says photosynthesis on it in the middle of the page. The reason we're taping it into the middle is because this is the main process we are representing today. Next. Take your five arrows and arrange them so that they clearly represent the three ingredients that are needed for photosynthesis, as well as the two products that result from photosynthesis. So as we learned yesterday, three ingredients are necessary for photosynthesis. They are sunlight, carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, and water, H2O. The numbers on these arrows don't necessarily represent an order because all three materials are needed, but feel free to glue them down in sequence. When these three ingredients are present in the leaf of a plant, which has chloroplasts with chlorophyll inside, the chlorophyll is able to help the plant absorb the sunlight and react together with carbon dioxide and water. And now the magic of photosynthesis occurs. The main product of photosynthesis we know as glucose because the purpose of photosynthesis is to make food or sugar that the plant and other animals can use. But as a byproduct, oxygen is created as well. So make sure you glue these in this order because product number one truly is glucose. That's the main goal. And product number two is a byproduct or something that is created as extra. So if you have followed the directions carefully, you should have a model of photosynthesis that looks very similar to mine here. And well done if you have reached this point. I hope this was a fun activity that allowed you to review the concept of photosynthesis more. And that next time we see plants, you might think about what is necessary for them to grow and what they're creating for us as well. 